Yeah! <laughs> what up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. Woo! It's early in the a.m. And actually, it is right at... I got up at 3.40. It's sitting right at uh, 4 o'clock, and we got to get on the road. Today, we're going way out west to hunt with my boys, Wing Chasers Outfitters. They're an outfitter here in Kansas, and uh, they run snow goose hunts. And uh, they're actually one of the only outfitters here in Kansas that run conservation snow goose hunting uh, because the fly line that they're in out west is just better for snows compared to my area. But uh, today, whew, gotta swallow it. It's probably gonna be my last Kansas waterfowl hunt of the season here in Kansas, the last one. And uh, it's very, very, very bittersweet. I was on the phone with, oh, that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> All them good <laughs> snacks, yellow. I was talking to, uh, to Gerald last night on the phone and I was just like, man, I miss y'all so much. Literally, I, I miss uh, the boys so bad. I miss the clients being in here so bad. We got a lot uh, of lodge ideas that we're that we want to get done a lot of things to do here at the lodge new projects pouring a lot of a lot of new concrete doing ad, doing an addition on the north side of the lodge but let me get my mouth here going but lots of projects here at the large but lots of projects here at the lodge uh, this summer so stay tuned it's gonna be a lot of fun it'll be just like last year all kinds of projects new stuff going on here plus we got the old podcast rolling and i'm pretty sure we're gonna be giving away a huge waterfowl hunt in alaska yes on the podcast i'm gonna give away an alaskan waterfowl hunt that's all you know. That's all you can know. But it's only going to be given away to the podcast members. Uh-huh. All the patrons. So that's, I'm, that's all I'm going to say right now. Let's get on the road. Hopefully we have good luck today. Cross your fingers. Let's roll. Oh, old girl. She's ready to go. She's missed these early mornings too. Well, on the road. My goodness. Been on the road for a long time, it feels like. Uh, it is now 5.22 in the morning. Been on the road for right at an hour and 20 minutes. Um, I am an hour and a half northwest of home. I live smack dab in the center of Kansas. This is the main, one of the main fly lines, like I said, uh, in Kansas. And uh, wing chasers, guys, if, if you're wanting to book a snow goose hunt, an early duck hunt, one thing about uh, wing chasers, is they offer a lot more duck hunting than I do. Their area, way more water, a lot more puddle ducks, a lot more mallards, a lot more pintail out this way. Just the volume of duck hunting, especially in October. I don't start running hunts until November 4th because that's when all the geese get in town. Up here, they, they shoot ducks literally all September, all October. So get a hold of them. Here's their Instagram. Go hit them up. Go check them out. They're great guys. They're my buddies. And I would trust any of my clients to go with them. Uh, they have been guiding, I think they guided Teal back in September some. So they've definitely been guiding some of September, all of October, all the way up until now. That's a lot of guiding, y'all. I am sure the boys are exhausted. We're almost there, two miles out. This is gonna be fun. Can't wait to see the boys. I I guarantee I'm gonna whip the camera at him and camera's gonna be going, what do you want? He's prop, I'm sure the boys are tired. This is going on what? January, February, five straight months, five and a half months. That's crazy. Here in Kansas, so much waterfowl hunting is available. Sad to say, sad to say, that this is probably my last one for the season. Oh, ah, what are you doing? Well, we're just waiting for some snow geese to fly. I haven't seen you for a while. Yeah, it's been a while. I was telling all the people, I was like, dude, I bet you Cameron is worn the hell out. Yeah, we've been going since about September 1st. From <laughs> dove hunts till now. And 
it's getting pretty tired so and, and now you guys are going to get into turkey turkeys from like april 15th till end of may so we're near the end but not quite yet you're crazy you only get like a three month break three yeah from almost yeah that's awesome yeah are you gonna are you gonna guide dove you're guiding doves yeah <laughs> dude yeah. they just don't end nope but like i said out here the fly line is much different ducks in october that's the jazz oh yeah october sheet water it's hard to beat you guys i was talking about all the central kansas guys and i'm like if you want ducks in october there's nobody yep. else that does it like like cameron and wing chaser i'm telling you right now but we're gonna go check out the spread real quick nothing but full bodies today well, here's the spread. Nothing but full bodies today. Three clones, probably three e collars. Put them all in family groups and just strung them out. You uh, you bring two guns yep. for yourself? Not a whole lot of geese, so if they come in here, uh, I'm dumping 30 <laughs> shells. You're gonna double shoulder them? Yeah, double shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow! Holy smokes! I lost them. Where'd they go? Are they? Come straight up top. One. Oh, Sailor Jerry, you better go down, dude. Oh, he's done. What? One down, boy. We let the old tubes eat there. Yep, he did. <laughs> no dog today? Nope. Why? Forgot him. Oh no, you did? Yeah. Oh no. Hopefully he's still around the house. I let him out. <laughs> oh. What the hell's going on? Oh, look at the ducks. Ducks everywhere. Jeez. Nothing but pintails. Mm -hmm. This is duck country out here. My goodness. Dude. Karen was talking a lot of uh, his new duck clients. Well, every year, a lot of them booked the duck hunts because they came on a snow goose trip and seen all of the ducks the year before. The amount of ducks out here is unreal. Mm hmm. More. Tell me what the nutter butters did. <laughs> That's the move. For Shirley. What was uh what was your uh, guys' best hunt this season? 86, 87. What all was it? Snuggies. Oh really? Yeah. Well we had like an we had like four eighty bird days of darks too gotcha. it's all in the 80s though all in the 80s. From 80 to like 87. Gosh, never dang. no hundreds no hundreds nope. last year you guys hit 100 how many times probably four we hit four in the regular season and eight times during conservation season God. such a different year yeah the birds are spread out everywhere they don't take the same flight every day off the roost and it's tough here think it's the warm that we have now just no more cold spells i think it was the cold spell that effed everything out kind of bound up and then when the when the ice started melting up north yeah, they, they just start stringing they're, out they're pushing so hard nothing's staying for more than two or three days and the birds we have right now have been here for a couple of days now but they're they go south one day north one day west one day east one day jeez whole different year yep. whole different year <laughs> oh there I mean, they are they're like what is it definitely specs they're flying crazy <laughs> i'm liking it Oh yeah, right on the left, coming right here. Well, we got two coming. Oh yeah, coming over the top. Oh yeah, get ready. Shoot the two, shoot them. Well, one of the two, we'll take it. Well, Cameron went to go look at some birds. There we go. This came out of nowhere. 
Where are you at, bud? Where are you at? Oh, there he is. There he is. Well, heck yeah. Success we have. That's a big snow goose. There we go. Here's the spread. Nothing but full bodies bunched together in little family groups. Looks good. We're on the board, two down. Man, they just came in loving life. I'll take it. I hope nobody's that <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we got a flapper down, boy. I didn't see that. I'll get it. The old clone. These clones. I, they get used up just flapping all day, every day. Man down, man down. Well, that's it, that's all she wrote. Last hunt of the season, in the books. Uh, all the birds up here literally migrated out overnight. Uh, they've had four other trucks on the road all day and literally lost their birds all overnight. So I think Cameron said that they're actually gonna cancel their last two groups just because there's nothing bound up. The migration is so strung out now that Last year he said uh, they ran hunts through the 16th of March and uh, they're going to have to cancel their last two groups, which really sucks, but it's time to pick up. Everybody's just checking decoys. Well. <laughs> Slinging full bodies everywhere. What are you gonna do with your life now? Uh, take a break and then get up for turkey season. Yeah, you guys are gonna get after the turkey though. You guys got quite a few clients on turkey, right? Yeah, we run about 30 clients a year for turkeys. This is uh, the end of the road. What a year. Yeah. What a year. Tough way to end it. A <laughs> tough way to end it. But, that's, hey, like, like old buddy said, it's called hunting, not shooting. Especially snow goose conservation guys. Don't get your mind, don't get psyched up to where you, oh, we're gonna kill nothing but 100 bird days. You never know. Well, I'm downstairs editing the last waterfowl hunt of Kansas. In Kansas. Bittersweet, bittersweet deal. Uh, all day I've been reminiscing and, <clears throat> and missing my guys, missing my help, missing Gerald and the boys, and missing my clients. Uh, we just opened up the books for all the rebooking clients to to come back and the public uh let me rephrase that will probably open to the public to new clients coming uh april 15th ish so be sure to follow sand hill flyway on instagram uh and we're giving away two more hunts over on the podcast okay over at the podcast only uh we're giving away a two man for here at Sand Hill Flyways with me and the boys for this coming season. Uh, we'll probably give that one away, let's say September 1st, but we're giving one away at the end of June, early July for Alaska. A two man that goes to Alaska with my buddy Charlie from Cold Bay Adventures. That's all you need to know. That's happening probably July 1st, right around the 4th of July. So go uh, subscribe to the podcast. Me and P. Diddy have been working our butts off and uh, making some really good content over there. One of them that we just did was uh, why, I, uh, why I don't collaborate with other duck hunting YouTube channels. Got a lot of good content over there. So other than that, I'm going to leave you with some uh, memorable clips from the months past. And uh, I hope you all are getting out there. I hope you all are making memories with your friends and your family. That's what hunting is about. That's what all this is about. Have fun, y'all. Your right GoPro's now. not on. You're yeah, not me. Oh, I know who he is. Why you, are you guys laughing? Okay. Who what do you that? mean? You don't know <laughs> who, who is he is. Don't ask me then. I have no idea. You, don't, you just said, oh, yeah, I know who he is.
Because <laughs> now gonna, he's on camera. <laughs> Steven Seagal is the guy that does all the karate films with a black ponytail. Nope, never heard he, of him. He breaks people's bones with <laughs> karate maneuvers. He's like, <laughs> no. Steven Seagal. You don't know who Steven Seagal is? No. What in the actual? So to I know who Jackie Chan is. To elaborate a little bit. My saying, when someone says, oh, it's a seagull, I always say, oh, Steven, Steven Seagull. <laughs> <laughs> and Preston's like, who is Steven Seagull anyway? <laughs> Ultimate kid. The first time I heard him <laughs> say that, oh, my God, get ready, get ready. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Get ready, get ready. That'll be the best if that's gotten over to this. <laughs> that blue is doing it. I'm gonna go high right, you guys go what's low. Yeah, he's got a, a leg dangling. It's heavy. Oh, look at him get tight. Look at him get tight. Oh my goodness. Let's not lose him. Yeah, yeah. We got one, two, three. Got a sailor here going down. Four for sure. Hey, one coming back. Look at that. We are on a paved road, pulled up, and these birds are literally in the ditch. Crazy. There's a big wad of them out there too. Crazy how many birds are here right now. Set. We got stranded out here in the water again. Two snow geese coming. <laughs> Preston is the only one with a gun. I've been rearranging the spread. I'll show you in one minute. Oh, you're going to get to shoot. Take it when you can. Don't lose them. Of them, dude, you just let her eat. Dude, I didn't have my footing, I started falling backwards. Oh my gosh, dude, that was funny. <laughs> Birds. Nice. That's it. Fred. I would say we're done, boys. All right, here they come, Frederick. Hopefully, we can have some good luck. Come on, birds. Yeah. Get there. Do what? Let Fred. See if Fred will drag one back. He won't grab one. He will not bring one back. I guarantee it. Come on, birds. Should I keep calling or not? Oh, uh, they think they're coming. Mm -hmm. oh, this one derp's dead. Come on. Don't Swing in here. Don't be doing that. Ooh, if they do that. Yeah. Shoot him. Yeah, y'all. Last shot. Smack that dude. Boom. That's my bird right there. If that sucker's banded, I ain't drawing for it, okay? Yeah.